I'm Jordan Evans here in the Cronkite News Weather Center and rain chances finally returning to your forecast as a weak storm system is going to make its way over our state by the middle part of your week and rain showers fill in for mainly eastern portions of the state. So it's not much here in the valley, but at least it's better than nothing and it's not going to last very long. That thing quickly scoots out of here and a big ridge of high pressure is going to start to build in by the weekend. In fact, by Friday, some spots across south central Arizona could be flirting with the 90s getting pretty late in the season here. We'll walk you through temperatures here in just a minute, but let's take you through future cast and show you what these rain showers look like for the rest of your day today and through Tuesday as well. We're going to keep things pretty dry, but notice by Wednesday, a lot of that rain begins to filter in for eastern portions of the state while here in the valley, I think we'll be just on the fringes of that and cloud cover is going to stay down there across southern Arizona too. So not much, mainly between a tenth of an inch and a quarter of an inch possible here in the valley with higher amounts out east over the White Mountains and rain is definitely something we want to look forward to here in that forecast because take a look at the drought monitor. A lot of places across northern Arizona and even far southeastern sections of the valley have gotten into severe drought. That's a level three out of five on the scale. And keep in mind this map right before the monsoon was pretty much blank because of our extremely wet winter earlier this year. So our deficit is starting to take a toll on our drought. So any rain we can get here in the valley and in that forecast is going to be putting us in better shape. Here's a look at temperatures across southeastern Arizona for Safford. Rain chances increasing by Thursday and Friday, too. And temperatures in the 50s all across the board there, with same goes for Sierra Vista and 50s down there in Nogales, too, for low temperatures as highs will top out in the 80s down there across southeastern Arizona. Across western portions of the state, expect 90s possibly down there in Yuma for Thursday and Friday and into Wednesday, too. And we'll see 80s across the board in Lake Havasu City and 70s for Kingman. No rain chances out there to the west as those will favor mainly eastern portions of our state. Now the high country is actually going to warm up just a little bit too because we saw lows in the single digits across the Grand Canyon last week. So only getting down to the 20s this week up there with highs rebounding to the 60s and 70s there across Payson, Prescott and lows of top bottom out in the 30s and 40s there across many spots in the high country. So here's a look at that forecast for Flagstaff. Rain chances also coming back for your forecast on Wednesday as highs drop down to about 60 degrees and rain showers quickly moving out and before we dry things back out once again and we'll see temperatures rebound actually above normal substantially heading into the end of the week as well as in the end of your weekend. That's the same thing down there across Tucson too. In fact, a 20% chance for Wednesday with highs in the 80s. And keep in mind our average is only 78 for this time of year. And we keep those lows in the 50s too. So we're going to see a pretty warm week continue down across southern Arizona and Tucson. Here in the Valley of the Sun, we do have our own rain chance also on Wednesday at about 20% with highs staying in the 80s also. In fact, some spots, some spots here in the Valley could flirt with that 90 degree mark heading into Friday as that big area of high pressure moves in. But nonetheless, we'll stay sunny and dry for the rest of the week and into the weekend as well.